Hello YouTube, uh, welcome to the Golden Balance. We are trying to revamp the whole brand and make a lot more content on YouTube with longer lengths because a lot of you are always wondering and asking, you know, can you do a longer version? It's hard to keep track of the short version of the recipe or whatever the case may be. So what I'm gonna start doing is, yes, I'm making Instagram and TikToks. Um, I'm gonna be making them as I make the YouTube as well. So sometimes I might not be looking at the camera exactly. It might be kind of weird or whatever, but we're just gonna vibe it out. So I'm gonna like show you how I make the TikTok slash the Instagram video um, into the 60 second clip. But in between clips, I'm gonna be talking about a lot more tips and tricks and a lot more detail. So if you actually really want the in-depth detail, it's here. And we're gonna be vibing, you feel me? We're gonna be kicking it back and stuff. So a lot of you, I asked a lot of you about the kitchen. Some of you said that there's a less homey feel. Well, I mean, I'm just in a studio apartment just out here grinding for y'all. Um, but yeah, just, you know, stick along. I appreciate y'all. So I'm gonna be talking with Hassan here and there, but we're making the McDonald's McRib, but I can't eat pork. So this is my version of the McDonald's McRib that is pork free. I'm gonna be using some beef short rib. So the McRib is pork. Y'all know I don't eat pork, so we're using some beef short rib. See, that's how I do a clip. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be looping it. So the back or the end of the video when I actually have the food that's ready is gonna be the beginning of the video. Um, so I'll show y'all how I do that, it's kind of cool. So right now I kind of just skipped the first scene of the Instagram slash TikTok and then I dove in right into you know the recipe talking about the beef short rib uh, because the intro is gonna happen towards the end. So that's kind of how the creative process is gonna work. So what I'm doing is basically I'm gonna dry rub the, um, the short ribs, toss them in the oven, get them fork tender, then toss them into the hoagie roll, just like they do with the McRib, but we're gonna make our own bar uh, barbecue sauce as well. Start off with garlic powder, onion powder, paprika. So Hassan's over here in the corner, recording a nice little angle for the seasoning, and then he's gonna clip each like time I say the seasoning as he's showing off the food, but you kind of see the behind the scenes, it's kind of weird, but you'll get used to it. Chili powder. Black pepper, a sprinkle of brown sugar, a pinch of salt, a dash of Worcestershire sauce. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now mix until they get nice and lovey dovey. So we got the um, short ribs. I heavily seasoned one side, so I just toss them on each other. These have been sitting out for like an, in half an hour just to get nice and room temperature. Um, so when they hit the pan, they're not gonna be like dying, you feel me? Because when you have really cold meat, you put it on a really hot pan, it's gonna tense up and it's gonna become rough and it's not gonna be tender. So you always wanna give your meat a break before you uh, cook it. Especially if you're gonna cook it on a hot pan. So what I'm planning on doing is going in uh, uh, iron, what is it, cast iron skillet, tossing on the short ribs, getting a nice little crust, and then going into the oven um, until they're fork tender, and then glazing them with the, you know, the barbecue sauce that we make. We're gonna make our own barbecue sauce. Um, and yeah, that's the move, you feel me? We just out here vibing. Just L uh, not LA living, Miami living. Um, but you know, I'm blessed, I appreciate y'all for the constant support. Um, I'm probably gonna upload this video after the vlog, so let me know how the vlog was. If you all if you all like the vlog or not uh, and stuff like that. All right, so we're getting a nice little crust on the short ribs. We're gonna give them a flip, toss them in the oven, um, and then they're gonna be nice and uh, tender when they come out, and they're gonna be falling apart so they could go into the sandwich. Now flip them and toss them into the oven. Ah, that's not smart. So we're making our barbecue sauce for the short ribs, uh, homemade barbecue sauce. We out here just making everything homemade. Might as well make the bread and everything. No, I'm just joking. But you already know that I'd like to make it as easy as possible. The average Joe, in my opinion, is not gonna make their own hoagie roll, so we're gonna, you know, obviously get store-bought bread. Um, but I'm gonna make the uh, barbecue sauce. I do feel like it's a little bit better, to be honest. And I don't know I, I don't know if y'all could tell, but I keep spitting. I need to maintain it uh, within. Or stop doing that. Yeah. I just have to just, whatever. Anyways, so. I typically for Instagram and YouTube or Instagram and TikTok, uh, the 60 second clips, I like to do a top down view when I'm adding the ingredients like in action. Um, I don't like to show my body, full body, like pouring it and stuff. So I'm, I hold the camera, I go over it. I'm sure you could do tripod, but it's kind of a little bit more homey, more natural, like less setup-y kind of. I don't know, that's not even a word. 
but it's like less, you know, what's the word? I'm not even sure what you're going for. Uh, it's less like uh, food networky, which is not a bad thing or a good thing. Just like I like to be more less like, like you're on a production set. Yeah, no, we're yeah, we're not production. I don't know why that thought took me sixteen hours to accumulate, um, formulate, not accumulate. <laughs> I failed. I uh, bro, you don't understand. I suck at English. I suck at everything. I pretty much failed school to a certain degree. I graduated with a degree, thankfully, but um, I struggled. You know, <laughs> it's not funny, bro. It's, <laughs> no, you. So you got Hassan back there with the biochemistry degree and I'm over here struggling, you feel me? But it is what it is, Keisha. So we're going to go in with a little, a little, my goodness, bro. For the barbecue sauce, start on some ketchup. How do you start on some ketchup? Hello, what's the sheer sauce? I think that's enough. Uh, we do a lot of eyeballing and... Yeah, Oh, does it? Yeah. Uh, more than you think, actually. More than you thought. More than I thought. Uh, a little brown sugar. We're gonna do some liquid smoke. This has a nice little smoky flavor. Gives it a little depth of flavor. Um, it's a good substitute for brown sugar when you do, sorry, for molasses. When you do liquid smoke and brown sugar, it's a good substitute for adding molasses to get that like deep memphis -y barbecue flavor. I don't know if that's Memphis. I just made that uh, stuff up. Okay. Uh, a tiny bit of liquid smoke. Are you going to go in with a little honey, honey? No, I'm just like... <laughs> uh, a nice dash of honey. And then we're going to go with, an, with a little apple cider, right? Apple cider vinegar. Uh, a tiny bit of vinegar. That's actually a tiny bit because we put it in with a lot of Worcestershire. And you wanna, I'm starting to, uh, you know, you wanna like balance out. Oh, we should add some butter, right? All right, we're adding some butter because we need some fat in there. You feel me? A uh, nice little chunk of butter. Okay. And then, so I'm gonna re, re season with all the seasonings that we already used for the spice scrub. But I'm not gonna say that on the TikTok because it's gonna get too long. So I'm gonna add them. That's good. I'm gonna add them to the mixture, and then at the end, I'm gonna say, and the same seasonings that you added to the uh, uh, short ribs. And then re-season with the same seasonings as the short ribs. I think I got that clear. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. Now this is, this is, this is gonna hit for sure. Okay, so we're gonna just toss it on, bring it to a light bubble, and then we're gonna drop the heat, let it simmer for a, about five to 10 minutes. It's gonna thicken up, it's gonna get nice and lovey-dovey and everything, um, and it's gonna get a nice depth of flavor, especially with the liquid smoke. You can skip it out if you like, add some molasses if you want. If not, it's all good. Um, and then this is kind of like the, you know, let me know what you think. This is kind of behind the scenes slash the extended recipe version of the actual food. So let, let me know what you think, if you want, if you like this style, if you think this is just a behind the scenes, or you consider this a full recipe, um, but just kind of mixed in with a, you know, a different um, vision, I guess, I think, maybe. So I'm not gonna show you, uh, you get the point, just let it bubble, once it starts to bubble, once it starts to bubble, you know, drop the heat, the butter's gonna melt, you know it's ready to rumble. This is, this is amazing. You want to get this beautiful, rich color, nice and tender, beautiful. All right, so we just pulled out the, the, the short ribs. Midway, I crusted them up with some of, with the barbecue sauce. I covered them and continued cooking them for another couple hours. It took about three to four hours to get them really nice and fork tender because you're eating a sandwich. You don't want to you know bite into something that's a little chewy even. You want them to really, really, really fall apart. So we're about to pull out the bones. So we have that you know beautiful strip of um, beef short rib. Then we're gonna top it off with the dill pickle and the white onion. Money team, baby, come on now. Easy slight work. Why did that sound so awkward? Uh, easy slight work. Uh, cash money. You wanna pull out the bones? Oh, oh no, these are tender. All right, so we're gonna really thin slice onions 
is you don't want a big chunk of raw white onion inside the middle of <clears throat> that barbecue sauce <clears throat> in my throat. And you don't want a really big chunky piece of onion, so we're gonna cut it up a little bit. Thin slice, thin slice only. So you want it like as thin as possible. You want these little thin, thin shards. That makes no sense, terrible represent. You want these little thin shards, just something to bite into, just to give it that little crispiness. Uh, but nothing too crazy, you feel me? And then we're gonna cut down our hoagie roll. All right, so uh, let's make it a TikTok clip. And then a dill pickle. Uh, you see, it's um, six o'clock. Uh, this is like four hours into shooting, and we're tired. You feel me? Oh, I'm tired. I don't know about the sound. Sorry, what was that? Nothing. Alright. Alrighty. Uh, is it lighting good? Good? Now take your hoagie roll. Ready? Yep. Your your beef short rib. I'm gonna do a double. Ready? Another beef short rib. Your dill pickle. No, I should have put the onions first or whatever. And your sliced white onion. I'll put the lid on. Is that good? And now we have final product. All right, chuck to this. Side. This looks nice and beautiful, babies. We got the beef short rib, the pickle, the hoagie roll, the white onion. Um, I think toasting the bread would probably be a better option, but I don't know if that's um, you know that's necessary. Okay, look. So we want to do a loop. We want to do a loop, right? So what we're gonna do is, before I say now Bismillah and I eat the food like I usually do, uh, I'm gonna do the loop first uh, and make a clip for TikTok so I could just upload it where it's just like a teaser, where it's just like bringing up the actual uh, you know sandwich. Like, oh look, I just made the um, the McRib sandwich from McDonald's at home, uh, but I don't eat pork kind of thing. I don't know how to just like word that. I'll figure it out in a second, um, and then we'll do the now Bismillah and do the loop or whatever. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the end clip and the beginning clip all in one uh, one shot, and then he's gonna cut it, put one in the beginning, one in the end, so when it plays back, it loops into itself. So how do you wanna do it? All right, is this good, is this good lighting? Take, take, this is just one, that, that one teaser clip. Mm-hmm. Is that good? Keith. I've never had a McRib sandwich from McDonald's because I don't eat pork, so I made one at home. Right, you're kind of covering your mouth so it looks like it is. Ready? That's fine. I've never had a McRib sandwich from McDonald's because I don't eat pork, so I made one at home. All right, let's get the, like a clip like this. So we could tease it and then that's one, that's just one video, okay? How do you want to do it? Like where? Like this? Yeah, I'll move along. Look how beautiful that looks. Nice and gorgeous. So now we're doing the end and the beginning. Uh, well, you'll do that. And the sandwich was definitely amazing. Who else has never had a McRib sandwich? I can't have one because it has pork. No, it's too long. Yeah, yeah. You, All right, let's just do that one clip. And, and you then. already mentioned it like multiple times throughout the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm telling you all, the sandwich was amazing. Who else has never had a McRib sandwich? Okay, and then, so that was the yeah. loop. 
I've never had one because I don't eat pork, so I made one at home. That was good. Yeah. All right, now let's make. So now we did the loop, um, and we did everything, and then even though the, the the loop is gonna be after the Bismillah, we're gonna do the Bismillah at the end, and 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 then. Yep. Now Bismillah. Hmm. Oh wow. Well, wow, that's really good. There you have it, folks. I love and appreciate every single one of you. We just cooked up some, you know, some good sandwiches, the McRib. Uh, I told you this YouTube is a journey. This whole thing is a journey that I'm, you know, building with you. So I appreciate every single comment, like, subscription. If you want to support me, subscribe, drop a like, share it with a friend. I appreciate y'all so much. And thank you and catch you next time.